Whoa, 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 Mr. Postman. We're waiting for someone. Or they're waiting for you, whichever that is. Okay. Feels like they're wondering. I'm not sure if you're open to talk or have a conversation. But there's definitely a gap between the two of you. And for you, it's just like, am I going to wait for this? It's like, screw that, Sal. <laughs> Ain't nobody have time for waiting. Okay, I got no time for this. They're emotionally detached. Ugh, no, I deserve better. So then you choose to walk away because you feel that this person is just playing games. I guess this person hasn't heard a the song called Quit Playing Games With My Heart. Okay. <laughs> Sal, what's your generation? I don't know, okay. My generation is a black pink. <laughs> so you decided to walk away because you're tired and emotionally just like, I'm out. I'm out, Sal. Okay. So Capricorn, let's see here. Okay. Okay. Make sure to check out your previous video because I do upload every day here. So um, let's see. Oh. And I'll be talking about one of the most luckiest bracelet that you will ever have because this is from my experience, okay? I have used it and it has helped me. And today, I'll be sharing a remedy for how to get rid of debts. I'm going to give you something for free. Use it and then watch the magic words, okay? Later, I'll talk about it. So, Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, I'm seeing right now where... It is what it is, Sal. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. So it's, it really just doesn't matter. I'm over this. <laughs> now, for the Capricorn, I love it when you're moody. Uh, it's good if you're letting go. Uh, I find it charming when you're moody. Uh, I like that drama because it's not really like drama. It's more of like vengeance drama. I'm over this. <laughs> you know? So, I'm seeing here, you know, Jupiter is going to exit your fourth house. I already have the chart over here for May 1st, which is amazing, because Jupiter is going to go to your fifth house. So, for the Capricorns who's ready for the new, mm -mm, then you are favored by the stars, okay? I do say Dear Alvedic Astrology, so that you don't get confused. Now, here's the thing. Lately, okay, if you guys are living in together, um, I feel like you may be dilly-dallying certain things in your mind and your thoughts, you know. Sometimes you feel that um, maybe I should talk, maybe I should entertain it. So, a little confusing time, right? Um, because sometimes they're giving you some sort of hints, okay? We don't survive on hints, Sal. Screw that. Queen of Pentacles, she's ready for the real deal. Okay. Yeah, contra, contra, <laughs> contra. Mm. Your person is complicated with the five of wands. They like to contradict, you know. The five of wands is here, which from what I'm seeing is like they're opposing this. When you walk away or you get tired of like, you know, dealing with the same situation, my heater is here, something is very hot. Um, I see that your, uh, you know, the five of wands is you're saying that Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, mm. It's giving, like, it's just complicated. I don't understand it anymore. Um, why do they have to say this? You know, the excuses. Yeah. You're confused. I mean, you do want it, I see here, because with Rahu in the third, you have a lot of desire for relationship can be, or dreams or your goals. Now, you may feel this urge to walk away, especially that Jupiter's going to go to your fifth house because that time, you'll have someone new. Mmm, Zell, don't tell me that. I, I told you. Do that. Mm. I just said it. The cards will never lie. And I have, this, I have something special that can bring in you. Mm. Later, I'll talk about it. I told you. You know, I have developed a good relationship with the energies of the tarot and astrology when I combine it. When I see it, I say it. Mm. It is right there. Okay. Because from what I'm seeing, 
the favor that you will have because Jupiter is the Karka of the fifth house. It's supposed to be there. It wants to be there. Okay? Sheesh. <laughs> Don't shake it, sir. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, the Ace of Cups summon you. This is going to be a healing relationship, darling. Healing relationship. Someone who will love you and care for you. So, this may be for some, of course. And I understand. It's retrograde. So, you probably feel like, oh, what about my ex? I don't know. <laughs> your ex is this. Or your current. It's very complicated. Mm. You like complicated? Mm. Me? No. Please don't complicate my life. I am at peace. You know? You want to be part of this journey? Be a journey in peace. No drama, no nothing like that. Nine of Swords, if I see it, I have to say it. Uh, see that? Mm. That's how your person does it. They torment you. Look at that. All your fears and worries every time, of course, your person comes to you. Are you tired of trying to find which crystal is good for well? Let me help you understand what are the seven crystals that's going to be good for you. Obsidian, Garnet, Citrine, Yellow Sapphire, Lapis Lazuli, Ruby, and Jade. The problem is all these crystals are very expensive. What I did is I put all these crystals in a bracelet so now you can use it. All these crystals are going to be good for you. To find out more, visit our website, eatreadlove.me. Mm. Do you want to be here? Do you want to have the remaining time, part of this lifetime that you have, nobody's dying, to be wasted with being here, incapacitated, meaning you cannot even think, process, and anxiety, depression, all those things, because of them, five ones. Mm. Oh, this one, you want to attract it? Do you want to track it? Okay. I'm down. Mm. Remember I told you, I have seven crystals. One of which is going to be favorable for dating romance. Favorable. Business also. Okay? I'll talk. So, out of all the things that I have experimented, these are the seven. I call it the lucky seven. You can only get us here. Okay? Because I use it. But it was just a very expensive. It was crazy. Okay, ruby, yellow sapphire, you know, jade, lapis azuli. Oh my God, thousands of dollars on a good lapis azuli. Very expensive. So I said, how can I give it to other people when it is this expensive? It's not accessible. This makes sense. So I made it here. Okay, since now, you know, as someone who makes jewelry here, well, this is available. Your lucky seven, okay, this is the luckiest bracelet that you will ever have. Wear it, of course. Got ruby, garnet, jade, lapis azuli, black obsidian, and the money, money charm right there, and real gold. Now, it doesn't stop there. Remember the remedy that I was telling you? It comes with a free citrine. You don't get to keep this, but this is free. You gift it. You give it to someone who, okay, you wish that the same problem that they're having is going to be gone. You want them to be lucky. You want them to solve their problems with money. You gift it, okay? Because that's a remedy that we do in astrology. You gift it. Okay, don't keep it. I'm trusting you. Okay, you give this to someone. Got it? Now, it comes with the free. That's free one. This is the one that I was telling you that can attract love, romance, and relationship in, in your fifth house, Jupiter. So this is the yellow sapphire. It's teeny tiny though because it's very expensive, but it's there. Okay, I had a GIA certified, of course, person. Okay, for people who doesn't know, like meaning a gemologist like that, who's really knows their gemstone. So it's a yellow sapphire right there. You keep this, you carry this with you every freaking day. Okay, now Jupiter took 12 years for this. So if you want to, you know, miss out on the 12, you know, and wait for another 12 years, it's okay. I mean, there's another 12 years. You can wait, you know. But if you want to be lucky already, this coming May for the next 12 months, carry this with you everywhere. I understand the bracelet sometimes, the outfit style. I'm going to go out on a weekend. I don't want it to get wet. I understand. But this one, you can carry this. You have a bag, a purse, you know, whatever it is. You carry this. You have a pocket, okay? So this is special. 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 Now, I tag this in the corner of this video. Free shipping in the U.S. We ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. And here's the thing. I make this per order. So if it's available, I only put one to two every time. If I finish one, I put it online. If I finish one, so sometimes there's nothing. Okay? So when you see it, you better snag it because I only make one two. Okay? 
I mean, draw, draw the day though. So I would restock it again. But of course, I'm not, I'm, I'm reading. So I can, how can I make? So someone gets it now, it's gone. Until later, I make it. Okay? So that's how special it is. Okay? Acer Cup, Sal. True love it is for you. Mm. I've been doing you amazing readings. And I don't know if people are watching. <laughs> but for me, it's not about how many people are watching. I just see one person out there who's going to have this. A true love. Oh, que rico. I hope it's you. You know? Just one. That makes a whole difference. Finding true love. The one, of course. The Ace of Swords air sign and can be a water sign. This is a victory with regards to love. That's why there's a crown. Okay? It's a spiritual connection also right there. Transformative. God-given opportunity. And it is handed to you. Now, here's the thing. Aces are new. Mastery also is aces. You're going to be out of this Capricorn. I know it's been a struggle. This is the time where Jupiter will give you the best. Best of the best. Ace of Swords with the Ace of Cups. So I'll tag this in the card of this video. Tomorrow we'll touch this subject again. Ciao!